Hi, welcome to the university training. As part of our hike intercom training, we will be adding another door station. Right, now what we're going to do is we're going to add a sub door station. Let's have a look at what we've got already. We've got an indoor station and two outdoor stations. And if I just check how they work at the minute. Right, as you can see, the second one is not configured yet. The first one is, it works perfectly well. Right, let's have a look at the setup. Again, we've got IVMS 4200. It's worthwhile checking the version number. Make sure we're on the latest one. You can always check it here. Excellent, we're on the latest version. Right, I've got this unit plugged into the same router I have um, the first two connected to, but it has a default IP address of 192. 0 .0 .65. Uh, we can check the SADP tool for this as well and you'll soon find that yeah you go same sort of thing there right so we do need to activate that and we do need to give it a uh, a new IP address so let's just do the activation first uh, but before we do that I just want to just show you how uh, we can talk to two devices on two different networks you can either have two network cards or uh, the way you can do it is to get up the network settings on your PC. And uh, let's have a look at that now. Um, go into control panel, get your network settings up, click on change adapter options, up pops the network so that you have connected. We've got a network cable plugged into our laptop. And if I right mouse click on it and go down to properties and I want to pick TCP IV version four, double click, and you'll see that I've set a static IP address so I can talk to the intercoms. I'm on a 192.168.1.100 with a gateway and a subnet mask. If you want to add in another range, click this button down here, the advanced button, and you can add it in. Here's where you add it in. Uh, you put your IP address in there. Uh, and as you can see, I've already done that. And it's 192.0.0.99. So I can talk to the unregistered devices and then all I have to do is keep clicking OK and that allows me to talk to both ranges of devices. Right, let's go and activate this device. Put in our password. Confirm it. Activated, all in dandy. Now I need to uh, change the IP address, which is over here. I've got it selected. Now, because this is our sub door station, I want to give it a separate IP address to the one we already have. You can't have them both the same. And I think you'll find that 202 is free. But make sure we update the gateway. And of course, put our admin password in. Uh, we click modify. Everything's fine. That's great. And we can dispense with uh, SADP tool now and we can use this. And you'll soon see little refresh. 202 is now our second outdoor station, which I have to add. So I've got it selected. I click on add on IVMS and I give it a name. It's going to be called a sub door station. Okay, sub door station. Uh, I just want to synchronize the time. It already fills in the, IP, the admin password for us. There we go. Everything's online, which is great. Just do a quick refresh. Right, now we have to go and set this new sub door station. We click on the cog. Wait for it to load. Go down to intercom, because that's what we're doing. And we have to tell it there it is door station one. We press save. The unit will reboot automatically for us. So we've got to wait for that to happen now. The save's successful. Uh, I'm just going to wait for it to reset now. Uh, let's just close that a little bit down. And we'll just check we've got it online. Just give a quick refresh. Everything appears to be okay. Now what we've got to do is add this sub 
door station to the main module. Again, we click on the cog of our outdoor station, wait for it to load. And now we, we know it's an outdoor station, we go down to device management. It already has an indoor station configured, which is correct. We now need to add a sub outdoor station. And here's where we change it, the sub door station here. And we just fill in all the details. Our admin password, our registration password, which we're using the same throughout. Now the serial number, again, is the serial number of this new uh, door station, this new sub door station. I've got it here, just paste it in there. You'll notice that the serial number, although it's written on the back of the device, is also forms part of the serial number and you can see it here. Excellent, right. When you add in its IP address, which we've just added, Tool 2, subnet mask, and default gateway. Hit that as number one. That should all we need to do that. Right, so it looks like it's added it. You do have to double check some things, maximize it. You'll see it's offline. It's suggesting the network is unreachable. So what do we do to fix that? We select the subdoor station and we've got to re-enter the registration password. The registration password is in the intercom section and it's in the session settings and it's got one filled in, but we need to update that. Everything should be all right from there on. Uh, we'll just close that down and we'll go back into the main door station. And we'll go down to device management, two devices, maximize. And now we can now see they're both online. So everything should be working. As we can see, the screen's lit up. We can check the original one, just make sure that's still working. And we'll check our new one. I think we're good to go. That's all.